Blog Talk Radio. Always look up, never give up, and you will reach your goals. You're important, you're more than enough. And here she is, your host for Rolling with the Diva, Sabrina Williams. Thank you. Hello, people. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely Sunday. March 13th, can you believe that? Time is just passing, like, quickly. I just got in my car, and how can you lose your keys in your car? Only me can do that. But while I'm doing that, um, we're going to talk about an issue. It's called conflict, and I really think it's important to do this because, especially with marriage and family and the church, people avoid conflict like it's the plague and don't want to talk about it. And when people do want to confront it, sometimes people act like those people are aggressive. So we're going to come back in a few minutes. I found my keys, and we're going to come back after a song, and we're going to talk about conflict. Actually, we are going to have a couple of songs. Okay, here we go.
Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're back with Rolling with the Diva, and we're going to play another song. I'll be right back. Yeah, can I get a um a hot chai iced tea with almond milk, please? I mean, a, a hot chai iced tea that's vente with almond milk. Hold on one moment. So anyway, yes, you can tell I'm at Starbucks. So today we're going to play a song, but we're going to talk about um, conflict first. But, okay, so conflict, why is it important to talk about? Because if you don't talk about, it escalates into problems, and it just causes so much more drama. Like, for instance, um, I have a person that um, was telling me about their, they have a coworker, and the coworker, um, he does not like when anybody doesn't, it's not always about him. So what he'll do is he'll just start getting on people and just being mean to them. And there's always that one person that takes their side that makes them think that this is okay behavior, and it's not. So my friend had to confront this person on his behavior because he kept being mean to her. And then everybody turned against that person, and she had to make the decision to go to the supervisor. I don't know. What do you think that she should have did? Now, that's a good question, and we're going to have to find that out because sometimes it's the hardest, sometimes the hardest thing is confronting people, and sometimes it's just knowing that you have to sometimes when to let it go, when to ask God. Always you should ask God to stop, step in. You should be praying and asking for help with that because I know it must be hard for you because it can't be easy on you. It can't be easy on me either um, or me or, or another person either. So um, let's talk about conflict when we're our kids. Our kids are doing things we don't want and they're living with separate family members and, and like mom and a dad or dad and um, step parents and you don't want to confront them but you know that what they're doing is not appropriate. How do you deal with it? Good question. I mean, that's, that's a question I have. So um, my thing is, you know what? You get them, sit down, you tell the truth to them, and because if you don't, if you don't teach them how to have a conflict with you, how in the heck are they going to have a conflict with anybody else? I'm not saying you're going around looking for conflict. I'm just going to say that you have to learn to deal with them because if you don't learn to deal with them, they're going to come out of the way. Conflict is a natural thing. It actually helps relationships get better. And the same thing with um, church. Church is probably one of the biggest places that doesn't think that they have, and we're going to be right back because i got to get my chai iced tea, as you guys heard on the radio. I couldn't figure out how to get the mute button on quick enough for that, so I just went with the moment. Hey, talk about being creative. Love you guys. And don't forget, I know that this coronavirus is now has a lot of cities um, off of things for two weeks, things closed, jobs. Um, 211 in any area will help you find resources. The unemployment office is going to extend their hours starting tomorrow. Please don't hesitate to reach out to people and know that you're not alone. You're more than enough and you're wanted. If you need food or you need anything, um, reach out to family, reach out to friends. Don't don't think that you have to pray to do this by yourself, and please pray. I'm going to say a prayer now. Dear Lord Jesus, as we go through this time of crisis in our United States and abroad, I ask that you would give people peace. Let them not hear a fear and let them know that you're with them. You're the only one I can take me from the destructive path I'm on.
Talk about, we're going to finish up on conflict, and here's four ways to find peace on conflict, and it's from the therapyspace.com. And what it says: sometimes it's so difficult to feel good about ourselves when, when we're involved in situations that are made out of anger or felt trapped or shut down. And the four ways that they say to deal with that are: oh, um, sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on. The first step is regret. When we regret our behavior, sometimes it's not that. Sometimes the first step to some people is nobody wants to listen to them. The second step is to reply and focus on something greater than ourselves. And that could be asking that could be asking God for help. Thank you. You too. That could be asking God whoa. That could be asking God for help. That could be asking um for prayer. That could be asking for the Holy Spirit to guide you. Um for some people they don't know what the Holy Spirit is but it's part of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that could be some some um, asking for a friend or somebody to help you deal with the situation. Um, but a lot of times, let's talk about the church. Uh, you know, I'm in a situation right now where I have a church person I'm in a Bible study with, that the person um, really does some, has some mental health issues that they need to deal with, and um, she she's, um, is enabled. And, some, and you know what? I finally went to um, over the leader's head and went to the church um, person who's a mentor because sometimes it's nothing you're doing. Sometimes it's just that person. And all you can do is express your feelings kindly and just ask for prayer for them. That's it with Rolling with the Diva. I just wanted to get on the air and encourage you guys that your footsteps, that you can't see in the sand, those are God, and his feet are not as wide as yours, and he's carrying you. Do not be distressed. Do not be dismayed because God is with you. He loves you so much. You're an amazing person. Don't give up on hope. 